Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we celebrate all the things we do while seated. I'm your host, E, and today I have something quite a few of you have been asking about. And I was looking back at some of my older videos, and I wasn't quite happy with the production quality of them. So now, I plan to redo all of them. Today, we are talking about Stephen King's first published novel, Carrie. If you're new around here, this series has spoilers for the entirety of Stephen King's catalog. No stone will be left unturned. In this series, I will be connecting all of Stephen King's books from Carrie all the way up to Holly. Before, you guys used to have to wait for every Thursday, but I'm going to pump these out as quick as I possibly can. As of today, we have 121 days until the publication of Holly, and I hope to do a video every single day until that time. So to answer your questions, yes, I will be doing a Stephen King Theorist video on Holly, and I will be doing a review. But before we get started with the Stephen King Theorist Redux episode of Carrie, I have a word from someone you guys may recognize. Here's, here's my thing. Many people have uh, I, theories about why um, Stephen King ha and his area of Maine um, has so many psychic abilities, uh, why, there's, uh, why every single Stephen King novel has something with psychics in it. I have a theory here, and it all has to do with Tommy Knocker. So way back in the way back, an alien spaceship landed in Haven. That's the the uh, the town from Tommy Knockers. Um, it's also a TV series if you want to watch it, uh, based on the Colorado Kid. So it landed there, and it gives the people in that town crazy, stupid abilities. When uh, Bobby goes to dig it up, here's my theory. I think that that spaceship has been there so long that it has maybe gotten in something in it has gotten in the water. Some of its power has transferred to the rest of Maine is going around and that's why in Stephen King's world there are so many psychics because of that one spaceship. Now we'll be talking about more of this along the lines. I'll also be talking about how every single novel ties back into the Dark Tower. Uh, of course King says you know there's like 20 some odd books that tie back into it but I think all of them do and I'm going to prove my point as we go along through here. 60 pounds lighter and deeper in debt. Now what that fresh faced E had to say I still agree with. Some of these videos are going to go into greater detail, and this is one of them. So I would like to read from you directly from the source, because there is actually a connection to Dreamcatcher that I not really missed, but I overlooked the first time. Many thanks to this commenter right here for pointing it out. And the proof from the text goes as such. The sensation was terrifying. Her mind and nervous system had become a library. Someone in desperate need ran through her, fingers trailing lightly over shelves of books, lifting some out, scanning them, putting them back, letting some fall, leaving the pages to flutter wildly. In the wind of memory, and still on and on, finally reaching a shelf marked Tommy, subheaded Prom. Books thrown open, flashes of experience, marginal notations in all the hieroglyphs of emotion, more complex than the Rosetta Stone. Now you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with Dreamcatcher? Or you might already see the point, the memory warehouse. Now every time I read Carrie, I have varying degrees of fun. Sometimes it's a two star read, sometimes it's a three star read. Most recently, it was a five-star read. But if you guys would like to see a Redux series of me redoing my reviews, let me know down there in the comments section. One last thing of note. There is a mention of a black man. The black man, I believe, is what the text says. I didn't save the page. My apologies. But King is not referencing an African-American person. King is referencing a man with skin that is solid black. Prototype the Dark Man? I don't know. But I'll let you guys decide and duke it out down there in the comments. That's all my time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's many, many more to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then... All hail the chair!